really care. Used to be I turn Jeff on as soon as the breaker goes, Cap's gone for like three hours. Now the moment I hit stop, here he is, right there. Okay. Soon he'll be like climbing on him. I'm okay with that. He's, you can tell he's stressed out. Hurry. Hi there guys, w welcome to today's Captain's Vlog. It's 11.48 hours on Friday, March 18th. I'm Chris Bowden, you're not, that's Paul. Hello. That's Beck. That's Jeff. And that's Chris Bowden. Hi. Yeah. All right, so we have to get um, some updated information for Talos and the team in the IRC. Come here a minute, Paul. You can take a look at this. You want to know stuff? Oh, I'm still going to need that. All right. Could you hold that open, please? So this is the guts of the thing. We have a PCI card here. No, no, I'm doing stuff. I'm doing... Hi. I'm in the... Tell, send him to Jeff. Wait, ask him right now to Jeff. Cool. All right. So inside this computer, which... Is socket seven, maybe? I don't know. What are you? It's a PGA 370 socket, and we've got an HEP port. PCI one is open. PCI two has this card in it, which is identified as 9941. That's gonna be that's gonna be custom silicon. I know it. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a KUKA card. I'm gonna try and get a shot in here, but it's not gonna focus, but I'll try. Oh, we got a little bit of focus. You might be able to see something. And then we've got two PCI slots open, two ISA slots, and then we're over to this card, which is more, it's all custom silicon. Um, there's that card. And then there's the big one in the back, which is also ISA. Oh no, this is a daughter board. So we've got AGP PCI, PCI 2 is occupied, 3 and 4 are open, ISA 1 and 2 are open, ISA 3 has a big ass card on it with a daughter board, and that'll be easy to look up what it is. Now looking at the back of the cards, you can see we've got an open port there, which is like a CAN bus thing. And that, hold that open, that there may be an Ethernet-ish port. It looks like an AUI type port. I don't think it's Ethernet, but who knows. And on the other card, the other card's just a video card. That's it. It's a KUKA-specific video card. So there are other cards that can go in here. We don't have any of them handy, but we'll do some digging and see what we can find and maybe we can make something happen. All right, I'm gonna button it up. I'm gonna hand this off to you a moment. And it's secure. Cool. All right, we'll be back. Hello. So back. You needed a proximity switch. How many do you need? Did you find one? I was trying to design to just need the one. Did you find it though? I have one for me, baby. Oh, okay. Because I was going to help you find proximity switch. I will mind seeing where to look. I'll show you where they are. Okay. You were in the robot cage while I did my I think you were in the cage when I did my initial tour. Quite possibly. Mr. Kidwell is one of the two people who can mess with the computer. Oh, Paul? Yes. We need to get Ethernet working on Jeff. Okay. Dominic can... says it has Ethernet, but Dominic's a day behind in blog, so he doesn't <laughs> quite know what the hell's going on. Um, I have proximity switches in this area. Okay. Or this area. Over over here is where you will find them. 
Um, no, you're not it. Sorry, I found cool stuff. No, that no, 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 no. This. But you, you look around in here and you'll find stuff. Duly noted. I had a couple out and about on top. But I'm not the only one who shops here. <laughs> and <laughs> But yeah, I had a really cool meeting with uh, the guys today, and I expect... To... Oh, hey, hey, hey! I expect we're going to be upgrading stuff. Yeah, that's what you want. Back! Hey, back. Come take a look at this. What you got? Does that look familiar to you at all? That's the one with oh, the it's old. junk. Yeah, it's got no, a broken thing. Came, that came with? Yeah, yeah. it's got a broken it had a thing. broken connector at Cougar. Yep. It would be excellent uh, for autopsy. Yes. Yeah, that'd be a good autopsy. Threw it, threw it that'd be a pile. really good autopsy. I should put that on the bench. All right, where does this go? Uh, with you. It's a proc switch. I have a proc switch, but I want to know right. for reference. Right there. It's not going to be there long, I'm quite certain. <laughs> yeah, thing, everything moves. All right, you wanted to get started on coil. Yes. I have something for you. What do you have? I have, I have love and sunshine. Love and sunshine. Turn the lights out when you leave there. Amy's painting. Amy's done painting. Yeah? Okay, stick around a minute. Uh, Paul, you need to see this. The, I got I got things for you. Good things, happy things. I have things you want. Just go in there. These. Ah, Whole yes. bag of them. And this. Get those with this set up on that, and we can get that in action. Okay. Um, We're going to run that off that double variac there, because it's all 240. Okay. So we're going to get this variac stack okay. set up here. Yep. Um, we can even go so far as putting a blank rack panel in there and stealing a matching plug and socket like one of the nice twist locks and get this set up so we can, because I'd like to have a, a socket to be able to plug it in mm -hmm. on here. Um, I want to set this up with a socket, or well a plug technically, this with a plug and a socket so that I can plug the plug in over there and have a socket that fits here, unplug it from here, run it over there for the, uh, the lifter demo because this variac has to be used for both. Okay. Um, and we'll go from there. All right, do you have the remaining separate receptacles? Oh, I got, I got a few sets. Um, there's a bunch of stuff here to choose from. Do pay attention to current ratings. And I have a couple over here. There are sets here. Like, we use, there are sets. We use, these are 30s. 30. That's cool because this is a 20. Nope, this is a 20. Okay, well this is, this current limits to 20 here. No, 30. This is 30. These are rated 20. So I know you got different sizes. Well, that, yeah, we've got a couple of these knocking around. There's a 20 knocking around somewhere that okay, I think this is... this is a full set. Yeah, okay. so is this. And no, they should match. No. Oh, that's, I'm sorry, I thought that was the other way around. Plugs mm -hmm. in there. We use the opposite gender for the panel mount ones. And yeah. The receptacles for the core. I, I would prefer having males, but I don't have any males of these. If somebody wants to send them in, cool, but... We need had you had you asked, okay. I would have brought a bunch. Bring a bunch if you've got them laying around. We kind of do. Okay, that's the kind of thing we can use. Okay. If we have to hardwire for a week of testing, I have no problem leaving this out of service for another week there or you month. Go. We use these a lot. Okay. 
but the goal is six and inch works. Six inch works. That, six should, inch be, works. that should be relatively easy. It should be. be. Yes. Um, cool. We All have right. Rotary stack cakes. Yeah. And we have a safety gap that was made up and never used. Yeah. We got the caps. We, well, we have a better safety gap. I got a, I got a beautiful safety gap. Where's it hiding? Uh, follow me. All right, Paul. Beautiful setup. Batman and KC did this. Ah, that's a safety gap. Yep, there's the safety gap. There. This is all set it's up ready. It's not exactly adjustable. What? This? No. We'll figure it out. Okay. This is adjustable. Um, okay. Now. And now we have aluminum shielding on top, aluminum shield on bottom, and uh, bulletproof glass, bulletproof on, glass on either sides. Okay. Many moons ago, we set aside a linear actuator. Yes. It was in. I have it. Where, I know what you're talking about. Where are you hiding it? Uh, got it in a gray box. Where's the gray box? In the boardroom. Okay, I know where that is. Yep, it, it's I mean, exactly where we put it, but the gray box moved. The gray box. Yeah, it's in the boardroom with the. Do not mess with this. It's for that. And yes. we gotta make up a mount. What I'm thinking is we make an angle bracket that takes two motor bolts, comes up and Just over, it. and we do one here, we put a bar across, and we have a plate that comes out from this, and it, it doesn't move that far. Then, well, and we're only going to have to move it, because this thing here is effectively 60. We have to move 90 degrees, max. Nope. This lines up at the 90s. All right, you only have to move from one electrode to the next. Okay. Because then you're back to where you were. Yeah, but so there's got, 90 degrees of electrode in here. Yeah, but there's four contact points. So we need to move 22 and a half degrees. Okay. So you have full coverage. I believe in you. Okay, maybe 40. But that's, that's how you do it. Angle bracket here, angle bracket here, bar across, ball joint in the middle. <laughs> Easy. Sounds like a project for Sam to play. That's a Sam and Casey thing, yeah. Yes. Um, also, see these? Yes, I see these. These are the little test ones. We need yeah. bigger ones. For? Icarus. Ooh. Come here. Check out this sexiness that Batman's got started. It's almost ready for me to do my part. Oh, very nice. That's the new Icarus class base. We have three of these getting made up. Okay. So, it's, it's in the works. What size copper pipe are we going to use for the primary, and are we going to do the same as what we did on the four and the six? Don't know if I'm going to use half-inch copper pipe or if I'm going to go to ribbon. Okay. But I'm building three for a reason. One is pure experimentation. Okay. So we'll mess with it. The so idea I'm going to have a massive secondary to play solid state with sometimes. Yes. Soon. Twelve this inch secondary for solid state research. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's coming, but that's that's the ugly first stages. Okay. If you can't be a damn good welder, it pays to be a really good grinder. <laughs> He's getting better.